So this is Five Minutes with Liz Savell, who's the Executive Creative Director at Studge Judge Gill. Hello. Hi. She's not even drunk yet. <laughs> I thought I'd do the glass in the hand, but <laughs> just to make it a bit more Just so you're a real alcoholic. Yeah, exactly. My name's Liz, I'm an alcoholic, I go to every day, every week. <laughs> yeah, this is actually going on the uh, alcohol. <laughs> it's real, it's real. <laughs> uh, can you give us a quick summary of your talk tonight? Yeah, cool. So I was the blood-sucking vampire, which basically means that I suck the life out of um, industries. So I, I, my whole thing as well is about creativity, is about exploring things, about learning things and kind of like, you know, touching bases with other things to bring that back into what we do. So my whole talk was about how I learn from other industries and how to take the best bits out of it and then I put it back into the creative process. So for instance, CSI, which is all about crime scene investigation and learning how they do their kind of like, you know, watching people and, and kind of like drawing in from that. Um, I stole from uh, Johnny Depp and his many faces in acting and that's a bit like kind of client servicing. Um, so yeah, so it's literally about kind of like literally sucking the life out of other industries and then using that DNA, <laughs> my DNA, to make me something fresh, something new and bring that back into the agency. Describe Creative Social in three words. Uh, amazingly, inspiringly, adrenaline. <laughs> Is that you or is that Creative Social? No, that's great. No, okay, that's the feeling I probably get when I go to Creative Social. It's that massive adrenaline rush. It's kind of, uh, it's almost like going in and plugging yourself in again and just kind of like having that electrocution through and just kind of like coming back out again and feeding that back into the agency. So that was 31 words. Oh, sorry. No, no. I said three and then All right, I it's fine. We'll go with your first three. <laughs> um, who inspires you creatively? Uh, like I said before in my, like in my presentation, it's not one person is everything and I take the best out of everyone that I meet so you know in creative social out of all of the creative directors I take little bits from them so there's not one thing that I can say that I actually get inspired by. Okay what do you look for in good creatives? Um, I try and look for something different like I try and look for people that are really really curious about things that love exploring and that can learn because and the other thing as well is someone who's ambitious and actually you know really really thrives to do something because you can teach people how to do stuff so that's exactly what I look for who's the most creative person you've ever worked with uh, these ones are hard because you can't say one person okay you can um, say multiple people or I tell you what um, yeah there's a, there's a few people um, God, trying to name them now is going to be... Okay, so, you know, I've worked with um, David Putnam, for instance. He was one of our mentors at Ferry. He was brilliant. And uh, he was very inspiring. Um, so, yeah, I'll name him. Okay, that's a good person to... Yeah. I don't think anyone, will get, anyone else will get annoyed with you for that. What's the best brand you've ever worked on? Uh, okay, well, I have to say that... Um, Adidas, Adidas, I, I mean I work for Adidas now and I'm not just saying it for the sake of it, but um, it's always a challenge and I love a challenge um, and they always kind of like, uh, are very methodical about things that they do so we have to kind of push them to be a bit faster and harder and obviously, you know, um, push themselves to be better than Nike. One of the greatest clients I ever met as well was Unilever, um, who said that they always, um, they always bet their creative on their gut feeling. So that was amazing. It went to Shanghai with the guys there from Unilever uh, on the aspect, and um, he was a great client to work for because it literally was, you know, if I like the idea and it's sort of my gut, then I'm going to go for it. Okay, and what's the biggest risk you've ever taken in your career? Uh, <laughs> getting into this industry in the first place. I would definitely say that was it. Um, I, you know, it was a real struggle for me, and everyone just, it's not cliche or anything, but being a female in this industry is fucking hard. Um, and, you know, I, I could have let it go within two years, but I didn't. I kept persisting and persisting and persisting. Um, and, to be honest, I would like to say that everything I do is a big risk, because that's how you become an entrepreneur uh, and start inventing things. So, I would say that I would like to feel that everything I do is a big risk. Good answer. Okay, let's move on to a quick fire round. <laughs> FWA or NMA? Uh, FNMA. <laughs> okay, can lion or DNA D pencil? Uh, uh, pen can. Digital design or graphic design? Uh, digital. Apple or Android? Apple. Degree or no degree? Doesn't really matter. 
Web or mobile? Definitely mobile. Independent agencies or networked agencies? Uh, I would say independent because I'm an independent one. Outsource production or on-site production? Uh, a mixture. Miami Ad School or Hyper Island? Uh, my Hyper. <laughs> and lastly, Don Draper or Roger Sterling? Oh God, uh, Draper Sterling. <laughs> See, combinations. Combinations are brilliant. Try it. Cool, thank you. Cheers.